This is the Destiny Call Alliance, the future of CAW. Wait a minute, what in the world? It's Zack Stone! Zack Stone from behind! And now what? Oh, look at this! That's the mission we saw at Proving Ground. Look at the way he's twerking at the knee. Atlas Jones is in pain. I've never seen Atlas Jones in this much pain before. Oh, trust me, I, I've seen And he's tapping. tapping out, he's tapping out, but Zach's not letting go. The lights go out and our, techni our technical equipment just got messed up for a while. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from Birmingham, Alabama for DCA Freefall. I am d here joining you on commentary tonight. And what a great show we have for you. All the championships are on the line. Rivalries are going to come to an end. It's all going to happen here tonight. And boy, I'm telling you what, this is going to be a very explosive night. And we're going to get it kicked off right now with our first championship match. Vega going one-on-one -on -one with Jordan Silver for the Destiny Championship. This is a rematch from Proving Ground last month where Vega on the takedown before was attacked by Casey and was rendered virtually unable to compete but he came out anyway and he won the Destiny Championship but now he's 100% he's here tonight and he's going to go one on one with Jordan Silva who I'm sure is not happy that it is not the same situation that it was from last month. Look at that, he's got a smile on his face. Everything seems well with him now tonight. So let's see how Jordan does in a one-on-one -on -one match with a 100% Vega instead of a 50% Vega. Crowd is on their feet, they're loving Vega here tonight. 
the Destiny Champion. And this is going to be a great matchup as well. We have a lot of exciting things here tonight. A lot of great matches on the card, including the main event. Zach Stone is going to try his hand once more with the DCA champion Atlas Jones for the title. It's not a no disqualification match like last month, but let's see if Vega can get, I mean, if uh, Zach can get the job done against the soldier. But here comes the self proclaimed prince of DCA, Jordan Silva, who believes it is his destiny to win the Destiny Championship, to be a champion in the DCA. He feels like it's his birthright, like he was born into being a champion. And I'm not going to disagree with the skills that Jordan brings to the table. He may seem pompous and arrogant sometimes, but maybe it's well-deserved considering the ring skills he brings to the table here in DCA. I mean, he hasn't had the, the greatest record so far, but when it comes down to it, Jordan Silva can get the job done when it is asked of him to get the job done. And the self-proclaimed Prince may be able to win here tonight and become Destiny Champion. His destiny may be fulfilled here tonight. He's got a tough test against Vega. Who has the who may have the speed advantage in this match, but Jordan, he knows he's a very speedy competitor as well. He can run around the ring with the best of them if he has to. And the crowd is on their feet. They are ready for this match, this championship match to get it kicked off. Something a little different, but something also pretty darn good if you ask me. I love this championship match that we're getting kicked off with. The crowd getting ready, getting set for this match. But as I said before, this is just the beginning. We have a lot on the plate here tonight, including a two out of three flaming tables match between Anthony Lewis and Casey. That is going to be an, a very brutal match just like if their if their match at proven ground was wasn't brutal enough just wait till the night they're gonna somebody's gonna be put through two flaming tables at the end of the, that match that is going to be a vicious match and also a steel cage match the first women's steel cage match in this company Sierra Knight and Angel Sanchez will duke it out and the winner will be the number one contender for the women's championship by the time our next CTV comes around which is Firestorm in August and look at that superplex from the top rope by Vega great move into a side headlock and then a jawbreaker Vega has the speed advantage as I stated earlier but Jordan Silva he has a little bit of size and strength to him as well look at that suplex net breaker and now oh no Vega took a little bit too much of a risk there and now Jordan's going to take control and now Jordan going right after the legs and that is smart strategy on Jordan's part because Jordan Silva can wear down the legs of Vega and if he does that he won't, Vega won't be able to use all the high flying and his speed will be neutralized as Vega Sees it coming a mile away and hits that wheel kick. And now, you know, a head scissors takedown. Nice move. And now, again, using the speed with a, that tilt the world DDT. Immediately right back on Jordan. He's not going to let him have any rest. And look at this unique maneuver. A variation of an abdominal stretch right here, trying to wear Jordan down. But Jordan again with the speed and now a side slam. And I think, look, you, you see Vega holding his left leg. His leg may have a little bit of given out there. And that is exactly what Jordan likes. He likes to see that weakness in that leg, and he's going right after it. That is a smart strategy, and it could lead Jordan to the Destiny Championship if he keeps it up. 
And now another move going right after the leg, trying to wear Vega down right here. And now slamming, oh, there it is, slamming Jordan, slamming Vega's leg right in the mat. And now again, another chop lock. Jordan is no slouch in the ring, ladies and gentlemen. He is a very smart in-ring technician. When he has to, he's been trained by the best that money could buy. Trust me, he's told me once before, the best that money can buy a trained, trained Jordan to become a wrestler and cover up that neck breaker too. No, Vega gets a shoulder up. And now, uh-oh, look at this. There is a huge Russian leg sweep. And now, Jordan, look at this. The half Boston Crab again working on that left leg of Vega, trying to wear Vega down here. And now Jordan letting the hole go. Felt like Vega was about to get out of that move. And now he's going right back after the leg. And now going right back to that Boston Crab. Making sure that Vega is neutralized here. And again, letting the hole go. He's not going to have Vega power out of that move and get the advantage if he does. He's going to keep Vega worn down long enough. And now again, going back to that half Boston Crab. But Vega, look at this. Vega powering out. But how much... Does he have left in that knee? You can see him holding that left knee there. That could be, look at this, head scissors again. But Vega, you can see he's not in the best shape. Whoa, and, oh no. Jordan saw that coming. Vega took a little bit too much time playing in the crowd and that may be his downfall. Wait a minute, no. Vega counters with a huge reverse DDT and now can Vega get back in it, drop kick. And now off the rope, and a huge jumping clothesline. But Vega, you see, holding his leg, he had to use all the strength he had left to pop off that jumping clothesline. And now, oh no, again that leg, limiting his speed, limiting, limiting his high flying moves. And Jordan could be one move away from ending this thing. He's got him. He's gonna set him up here, but no, Vega. With that counter and another head scissors. I don't know how he can pull that off with his limited uh, leg strength. And now the moose salt in the cover. One, two. No, Jordan gets the, sh the popped out at the last second. I was about to say he got the shoulder up, but he really didn't. He just popped out of that cover. And now going right back to the leg. He's not going to allow Vega to have any more offense and now again going to that Boston Crab he knows what he has to do he's going right into it here but Jordan letting the hole go I think he let the hole go and he saw that Vega was going toward the ropes and now he's going right back after that leg and now again half Boston Crab he's keeping up the pressure and that is exactly what you have to do against Vega but Vega not having any of it anymore but that leg, that leg is pretty much worthless now. He's he's only got one good leg. And look at, look at Vega kicking at the leg. And now a heel kick right to his, right to Jordan's face. And now another insig an insiguri again using that leg. But I don't know how much, how much uh, that's going to play into the strategy because Vega's leg is not, is pretty much useless here and now uh oh look at this look at this unique maneuver into a cover one two no what a move by vega and that may be the straight uh oh wait a minute vega driver can he hit it no jordan getting out quickly and now uh oh here we go we haven't seen this in a while the royal flush that could do it cover one no Vega showing that resiliency, and Jordan is livid that he got out of the Royal Flush at one. We haven't seen that move in a while. And Jordan going right back after the leg. Vega 
I think, was worn down enough with the legs that his, the rest of his body wasn't worn down enough to keep him down for that royal flush in that pinning move. And now Jordan wearing down the rest of his body so that if he hits that royal flush one more time, we can see a new Destiny Champion. And what is this? Look at this maneuver. Wearing down the legs with a submission hold. I don't know what it's called, but Vegas... Vega, I think it's tapping out, but he can't. It doesn't matter on the outside of the ring. If the count's up to seven, Jordan's got to get him back in the ring here. And he does successfully at eight. But, I mean, Vega is in a world of trouble right now. Can Jordan drag him? Oh, wait, Vega's back up, and Jordan immediately back on the at attack here. And now back to the leg. And uh-oh, Jordan going up to the top rope here. This could be trouble, yes! And now Vega could be one move away from ending it here. He's got to get some momentum back on his side. And now a Hurricane Rana. And now look at this. Vega got him popped off DDT! Vega... If he hits that leg drop with a Vega driver, it could be one move away from ending this. And now, oh, what a crossbody. Vega now picking up Jordan. Uh-oh. Look at this. We've seen this before. Wait, no. Wait a minute. No. Oh, man, what a move. Thought he was going for uh, the Mission Nuka driver, too. No. Vega has been known to use the Mishinuku driver at times, but he used some he used something different. He, he instead of he going all the way with that move, he, he dropped Jordan on his head. And now Vega countered whatever Jordan had. And now Vega again trying to get the momentum back. But Jordan might have worn down Vega sufficiently enough this time. Wait a minute, look at this! Oh man! Wheelbarrow suplex. And now, another one. That could do it. One, two, and Vega gets the shoulder up at the last second. But Jordan, again, aware of what's what's going to happen there. And now, you know, Jordan with a huge elbow drop and then right into a drop kick. And now jo Jordan, he feels it. He feels that this is over, but oh, wait a minute, Vega with an enziguri. Jordan took a little bit too much time to gloat, and that could be his downfall. And to another head scissors, and now Jordan, I think, is busted open. And there's another body splash from the apron, and now another, oh! I mean, I don't think Vega got all that that he wanted. But I think he got enough for another head scissors takedown. Trying to wear Jordan out here. And uh oh, like Jordan. Soft swept it coming in. What a clothesline. Jordan Silva has been on a roll. Another wheelbarrow suplex. And now Jordan could be one move away here. Can he get it? Jordan. Setting it up, and there's the Royal Flush. That's it. Jordan, what are you doing? You're gloating too much. You need to get the pin. No, he wants to set up another Royal Flush here. I think he should have put Vega away at first. He should have put Vega away at first, and that's what I'm talking about. Vega taking advantage. And yep, here we go, Vega Driver. Jordan took a little bit too much time to gloat. He wanted to hit another Royal Flush, but apparently it wasn't to be. Vega had enough left. He rested a little bit too much, but it worked in his favor. And now Jordan get hit with that huge leg drop. Vega. Powering into the cover. One, two, and three. Vega retains the Destiny Championship thanks.
to Jordan inability to get the job done. I mean, he had the match won, but then he decided to take time to gloat. He took time to just showboat and want to hit another royal flush, but in the end, that gave Vega the amount of time he needed to recuperate long enough to hit the Vega driver and then that leg drop for the pin and, the, and then retain the Destiny Championship here tonight. But what a great opening match to kick off the show. And like I said, we have a lot more in store for you. This night is far from over. It's just beginning here tonight. And there is the golden factor, the golden phenom, excuse me, Tyler Parks, who I believe, I guess he's talking to the partner he's chosen for later tonight. He's facing Alexander Washington in the debuting D.N. Allen. And if Tyler doesn't find a partner, it will be a handicap match. Well, it looks like Tyler did find a partner, but coming up next, a huge grudge match. Calvin Richardson facing the debuting Travis Brookside. And what a match this is going to be right here. Travis Brookside made his impactful debut a few weeks ago, attacking Calvin Richardson after his match. And Travis said he did it to make an impact, to set a statement. And now Calvin is ready to take his revenge. But I seen Travis's work. I know what he's capable of. And Travis is a very tough individual as well. He's no he's no one to screw around with. And this is going to be a very hard hitting match. This is going to be the technical masterpiece that we would normally see in a regular match. This is going to be no nonsense and brutal. And here comes Calvin Richardson right now. And look at this. Look at this. Calvin Richardson bringing in his motorcycle. This is a little bit of a different side of Calvin Richardson, but maybe it's a tougher, more aggressive side than we've seen before from Calvin. I mean, you heard it from my uh, broadcast partner, Flojo, that Calvin, he, we both see him as a future world champion. I mean, I, I, it, I'm, I'm sure that many people would agree with me that Calvin Richardson is a future world champion. I mean, Flojo may not be commentating with me anymore, but if he was, if he was, he would be saying me and agreeing with me right here that Calvin has the tools to become a world champion in the DCA or in any CAW league that he would, if he was in one, if he was in a different one, but he is exclusive to the DCA. We wouldn't have it any other way. And here we go, Calvin and Travis. This is going to be a great but very vicious match. Punches and kicks by Calvin, sending Travis into the corner, but Travis now getting the upper hand. Huge chop. And now Calvin getting the upper hand again with the right hand. And now, uh oh, no, Travis on a huge clothesline. It's like these two already know each other so well. But wait a minute, Travis. Oh, no, look at that. Calvin smart. Smart by Calvin. He knew exactly what was coming. And uh oh. Looks like Calvin's going to do one better, but no! Travis saw it coming, and look at Travis! Oh, man! Moonsault from the apron! That's what I was talking about, Travis Brookside. He knows his way around the ring. He is no slouch by any means. And now Travis getting the upper hand. 
sending Calvin back into the ring, and look at this. Kick right to the face. Travis is a no-nonsense type of wrestler, but so is Calvin. These two are not known for their uh, technical ability, if you want to call it that. And oh, look at this. Feet on the ropes. One, two, and no. Calvin saw that coming, but oh, man, what a forearm right to the face. And now into a neck breaker. Looks like Travis. Oh, wait, cover. One, two, no. Travis is going to, I guess he's going to try and work on the head area because if you remember weeks ago, Travis did give Calvin, nearly gave Calvin a concussion from his vicious assault, but Travis didn't leave Calvin, as Calvin said, he didn't leave him laying, he didn't finish the job, and Calvin's going to look for a matter of revenge in this match. Calvin, this net boot, but now going right back on the assault. He's not one to miss any detail, but Travis, like we said, a very, very smart competitor in the ring. He may have a little bit of a speed advantage over Calvin, but Calvin has the strength. He has the strength advantage, and look at Travis now going after the arms now. He was going after the head area, but oh wait, no, he's going back to the head now. Travis, I guess, working on every limb of the body, but mostly the head areas is going for another neck breaker. And now look at him kicking at the head. The arrogance of Travis. And there's the insecurity. We've seen him hit that many times before on Calvin. One, two, no. As I said before, Travis said that he took out Calvin Richardson, he made Calvin his first target to send a message that he was the, he was going to be the top dog in BCA, that he was going to take Calvin and prove that he's nothing more than a fluke, that he's nothing more than a Travis Brookside ripoff, rip mostly because he uses the same elbow that Travis uses, and look at that, another neck breaker, into the cover here, one, two, and Calvin powers out, and now Calvin again, just making sure that Travis doesn't get any more offense now, with the right hands, but Travis may have worn down Calvin a little bit too much, Travis now taking Calvin up to the top rope here, and look at this, from the second rope, arm drag. And look at Travis taking time to gloat to the crowd. He knows he has the match in control. Off the ropes. No, no, no. Calvin sees it coming with a huge spine buster. And now Calvin's going to look to get back in control with the short arm clotheslines. And now, uh-oh. Look at this, got him up on his shoulders, flapjack. And now into the cover, Vince could do it, one, two, no. Like I said, Calvin's got strength, but Travis has speed. And he's very smart in the ring. He knew that Calvin was still not 100% from the attack that he gave him a few weeks ago, and he's been working on the head and neck area ever since. And Calvin has really not been able to get much in this match, but look at that, oh no! Went for another elbow, but Calvin sidestepped it, and now, back in control, Calvin Richardson, trying to wear down tra Travis by any means necessary, what a backbreaker. And speaking of backbreakers, another one! The signature backbreaker at Calvin. One, two, no. And what a boot. Right to the chest of Travis Brookside. Calvin said he messed with the wrong man. And uh-oh, he's calling for it. 
It may be time for a blackout elbow in Travis's future. No way, no. Going for that military press instead. And now, Calvin. Oh, wait, no. He got countered. Countered it into an instant gear again. Again, working on the head and neck area. And uh oh. Looks like Travis is wanting to hit a blackout elbow of his own. Uh oh, wait a minute. Oh, look at this. No. Elbows. Consistent elbows to the head. And now. Travis pulling him away from the ropes, making sure there's no rope break. One, two, and no, barely getting the shoulder up. And oh, what a shot. And now, Travis again gloating, but it's not to, wait a minute, no, I spoke a little bit too soon there. Oh, what an elbow, right to the head. And now, I think Calvin has been split open. Oh yeah, he's been slid open at the top of the head by that el by the elbows. And now picking right at that open wound, trying to open it up some more. It is. It's opened up bad. Travis going for an elbow of his own. And now can he get it? No! Calvin reversing into a bulldog, and now Calvin is in control, stomping away at Travis Brookside, and now Calvin back in control, what an uppercut, and now what a neck breaker. Travis is in trouble, Calvin is in control, and now Calvin hanging Travis up on the ropes, and now, uh-oh, wait a minute, uh-oh, look at this, off the ropes, Oh, the spear, Sydney Travis, right in uh, announce, the announce table. And uh oh, another step off backbreaker. Travis has got to do something to get back in the game here. Oh, what a shot in the ring post. This is not what Travis needed. Is for Calvin to get back in control. And again, another shot off the ring post. That's the second time. The count is up to four. Calvin is not in the mood here tonight to play games. And uh oh, and a fireman's carry. And I think Travis was split open. And now another shot into the ring post. I think Calvin wants to give Travis a concussion here. Travis is bleeding. Calvin is bleeding. I told you this was going to be a brutal match, and I meant every word of that. Knowing these two and the hatred they have for each other, I knew that this was not going to be pretty. And a blackout elbow out of nowhere. But look, what, what? Travis, Travis just got right back up. Travis just got right back up like it was nothing. How is that even physically possible? I, I don't I don't understand it, folks. I, I'm sitting about three feet from both of these men, and Travis got up from the blackout elbow like it was nothing, and he's going back to work on Travis. I mean, on Calvin, excuse me. What a, and those elbows again. And look at Calvin. Again, oh, what a boot to the face. It was in the chest this time. It was right in the face. And now Calvin again going to break up the pin. Travis not even knowing where he is right now. More right hands. And uh-oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute here. Calvin, this is maybe going a little bit too far now. Right into the barricade, right through the barricade. Travis, Travis just taken out through the barricade. And Calvin now, oh, this match is over. It, it's pretty much over. All he's got to do is drag that dead weight into the ring and count him for the pin, and this match is over. Elbow right to the face. 
This this match is over, but it looks like Calvin wants to put the exclamation mark. He's going for the blackout elbow one more time. Wait a minute. What the heck is this? This what is this music? I don't know. Calvin's distracted by the music. I don't know what the heck was going on. Wait, blackout elbow! By Travis Brooks side. Don't tell me he's gonna win this way. One, two, no. Travis Brookside just got a cheap win. I, I don't know what the heck that was all about. That music that played out of nowhere. But whatever it was that allowed Travis Brookside to get the win. His first win in the DCA over Calvin Richardson. I, I don't understand what the heck just happened, but either way, Travis Brookside gets a win here tonight over Calvin Richardson, but barely, just barely got the win. I. I what a match that was, though. Wait a minute, what the? That's Josh Smith in the back laid out. I, what the heck is that all about? Josh Smith was is laid out in the backstage area. I don't know what that's about. I, I Maybe, I, I don't know, but coming up next, we have a women's championship match to get to. Amber Stevens will defend her championship against Jasmine, who's getting her one-on-one -on -one match after being screwed out so many times. And Amber Stevens is going to be in for a fight here tonight. Amber Stevens has been under a lot of controversy as of late because of the way she's won her championship. Where if you remember at Proving Grounds, it was supposed to be Amber versus Sierra versus Jasmine. But Jasmine was not able to make it to the arena. Somebody kept her away from the arena, gave her a flat tire at her hotel that she was staying at. She had a flat tire, and it wasn't accidental either. Somebody popped Jasmine's tire, making her unable to make it to the arena. And then Sierra, the lights went out on her, and it allowed Amber Stevens to get the win and win the women's championship. It seems like somebody is out to get all the divas in the division except for Amber Stevens and Jasmine a few weeks ago said she's going to get to the bottom of it if it's the last thing she does, but right now she can't focus on it. She's got to focus completely 100% on becoming the women's champion here tonight. And this is going to be a very intriguing match to see. Jasmine never got her shot. As I stated before, she never got her rightful championship match, and she's getting it right now. This is going to be a great match. I can already tell. The crowd's ready for it. I'm ready for it. I'm sure Flojo would be ready for it too if he was here. And here we go. That's what it's all about. The DCA Women's Championship on the line right now. The crowd getting pumped up, getting ready for this championship match. No shenanigans, hopefully, but here we go. We're getting ready to kick it off. The referee holding up the goal. The crowd getting ready. Amber and Jasmine are ready. I hope you're ready watching here. This is going to be good. And here we go. Bell rings. Here we go right now. Women's championship on the line. The second of three championship matches, including the main event. And Atlas Jones defending the DCA championship against Zach Stone. And look at this. 
Uh, now, right there, Amber already showing her her power over Jasmine. But Jasmine has been shown has shown signs of power herself. She may look like she's not as strong, but don't let that fool you. Jasmine, she can. You we've seen before she can throw people larger than her, women larger than her in the air, and hit that huge uppercut that has won her so many matches in the past. And that could be the turning point that Jasmine needs in this match. Into the cover off that net breaker early. No, not even a two count. But Amber Stevens, as we've said before, has that MMA background. She's been trained in MMA, mixed martial arts, in the kickboxing as well. She knows all of those moves in her arsenal, and it's won her so many matches. And a huge drop kick. I mean, she knows conventional wrestling moves as well, but she mostly employs the whole MMA, kickboxing, regular boxing, that type of manu that type of move set into the cover too, and Jasmine gets out. These two know each other very well. They've known each other from the beginning. It all started, uh, as I said before, in the all exhibition series. In the cover now, cover one, two, and no. The exhibition matches they had, it was a very great match. Jasmine and Amber were both involved in that. And Amber, I believe, pinned Jasmine in that match. So Jasmine has a little bit of a retribution on her mind for that. Yeah, it was Sierra and Jasmine teaming up to face Amber and Angel, and I that's where this whole, these four divas, these four women have had a rivalry ever since. Sierra and Angel will have their steel cage match immediately after this match, and the winner, after these two matches, this women's championship match and the steel cage match after it, we will have our first match officially set for our August CPV Firestorm, which will be live from Miami, Florida, in August. That will be an exciting CPV for all of you. Wait into the cover. One, two, and no. Now, Jasmine back still in control with a side slam. And now into the cover again. One, two, and no. So like I said, the winner of this match will be the women's champion. But will face either Sierra Knight or Angel Sanchez for the title at Firestorm, which is coming up in a few weeks. And now what a, oh no, counter by Amber swatted her away and now amber now going for a tiger suplex hook in the arms one two no and i'm sure that either one of these women against either one of the women in the next match will be an, a huge huge match for august august slash september whenever it will be in a few weeks for Firestorm and the Women's Championship on the line. And what a kick to the back of the head. Into the cover. Forearm in the face. Keeping her down, but not enough to get the three. These two women have gone back and forth so far. It's been a very great match. And look at that. That offense. And now, oh no. Jasmine, I believe, got her foot under the bottom rope there. And it allows Jasmine to go back in control. And what an arm drag. I mean, a hip toss, excuse me. And now Jasmine going up top now. Again, going for the senton, and she hits it into the cover. One, two, no. And now Jasmine with the rights and the lefts. And now what a splash in the corner, taking Amber down there. And now... Uh oh, look at this! There it is, that uppercut! And that could do it! Into the cover! One, two, no! Amber getting that shoulder up at the last minute. 
at the last possible second, but Jasmine could be too in control. Uh-oh. Here we go off the rope. Wait, oh no! Went for the moonsault. And Amber saw it coming, rolled out the last second. And now Amber Steven is going to go back in control with the clothesline. And now, and now punch, punch, punch. And now rolling around with a huge clothesline. Amber in control. And uh-oh, signature Amber going for those kicks. She knows them well. And a kick right to the head. That may have knocked Jasmine out cold, but Jasmine, knowing her ring surroundings, but no, into the Enzigiri, and now this time, Amber putting her away from the ropes, and no, Jasmine quickly getting out at one, but Amber still on the assault with the kicks and the punches, and now a face buster, and into an Enzigiri. Amber Stevens, but oh, look at Jasmine now, and wait a minute, oh man, Jasmine, Sending Amber all the way to the floor, off the apron, and what a, a choke slam. Jasmine in control. And now, wait a minute. Wait a minute, into the ring steps. Jasmine not letting up at all. She wants to be women's champion by any cost. And now, look at this. Oh, my goodness. And now, oh, what a shot. And now, here we go, back on the outside. And now, Jasmine, what a super kick. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. You got to be kidding me. Oh, the Jasmine driver on the floor. The Jasmine driver on the floor. And now, what, what the hell? What the hell is this? This woman from behind, from under the ring, ass assaulting Jasmine. The referee's distracted by Amber. Referee checking on Amber to see if she's okay. Amber getting back up. The referee now resuming his count. The, the, that mysterious woman going back under the ring. What the hell was that all about? And now Amber, go, what the hell, man? Is this the woman that's been causing all the problems for the Divas? Is that it? I don't understand. She came from under the ring, and now the face buster again. Amber, I don't think she even knows what happened. I don't think Amber knows what happened. This match is pretty much, wait a minute, Jasmine. Jasmine has still has some fight left in her. Jasmine still has some fight left in her here. And now, oh man. Jasmine now starting to come back here. Jasmine lifting Amber up. And here we go. Snake Eyes going for the big boot. But wait, no. AMS. That's it. Jasmine didn't even see that coming. Into the cover. One, two, three. Amber Stevens retains her women's championship. But what? But given assist to that masked woman who came out from under the ring and assaulted Jasmine right when she had the match won, all she had to do was put Amber in the ring. But that assault out of nowhere from behind, that allowed... Jasmine, that, ja that weakened Jasmine enough, but I mean, it looked like she still had some fight. It looked like she was on her way to still becoming the champion, but Amber had enough time to recuperate. She hit the AMS, and it was all over. I don't understand what that was all about, but in, in any event, Amber Stevens once again retains her women's championship. And, and here we are in the back with Zach Stone, who tonight is going to be facing Atlas Jones again for the DCA Championship.
Well, Zach makes it pretty clear. He wants, he wants Atlas Jones to know the meaning of pain. But coming up next, Tyler Hartz will face Alexander Washington and Dean Allen. And it looks like, I mean, it looks like Josh was going to be, Josh Smith was going to be his partner. But right, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to make it out here. I hope he is. I hope he does make it out here. But here comes the, the man who calls himself Mr. Amazing, Alexander Washington, who on the last takeout pin, Vega, no thanks to D.N. Allen's assistance. I mean, Alexander Washington, ever since aligning himself with D.N. Allen, ever since D.N. Allen got into the picture, Alexander Washington has been picking up wins. He's been more confident in his ability. And I mean, I don't like this alliance with that he's formed with Dean Allen, and Tyler doesn't like it either. But it all, let's see what happens here tonight in this match. Dean Allen making his DCA debut here tonight. And here he comes now. His music's playing. And there he is. Dean Allen. I spoke to him earlier today and he's saying that he is been born and bred into this business. He's a second, I believe a second generation wrestler. He says he's going to be the DNA of DCA. He's gonna make an impact and he says it starts tonight. And then I asked him about his alliance with Alexander Washington. He said that Alexander and him are both similar. They both want to make an impact. They both want to make a difference. They both want the, the greatest in DCA. Dean Allen said he's not going to settle for the Destiny Championship like Alexander. He wants the DCA Championship at some point in his career. But this man wants to make sure that Dean Allen's debut is a bad one. Tyler Parks, the golden phenom, and Alexander Washington knows this man all too well because last month, Tyler Parks defeated Alexander not only once, but twice. Once on the first takedown episode and the second time was at Proving Ground but will third, the third time be the charm for Alexander here tonight? It looks to be that way considering the fact that Tyler's tag team partner, his apparent tag team partner, Josh, was taken out earlier tonight. And it looks to me like Alexander and DN didn't want Tyler to have a tag team partner. So they took out Josh to make sure of that. And I don't even think Tyler even realizes that he doesn't have a tag team partner. But in any case, I don't think Tyler cares either way. And by that I mean he's going to do what he has to do to win this match, regardless of if he has a tag team partner or not. He knew that if he didn't have a partner, he would get in a handicapped situation. He already expected that. But will Josh be able to get come to the ring? That's the question. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's Josh's music. Is he coming out here? Looks like... I guess he's not. I guess he's still injured and... 
the referee's just going to go ahead and start the match. And look at Alexander gloating. Gloating that Tyler doesn't have a partner, but Tyler gives him a drop kick and then a splash for his trouble. And Tyler now fully realizes what situation he's in. He's going to have to do twice as much work to put Alexander and DN away, but Tyler's got all the skills to make that happen. And look at him taking out both men at the same time. He'll kick on Alexander and not going right to work. He's not letting up at all. He is full of rage here tonight, but Alexander now taking advantage and into a huge clothesline. Alexander and DN Allen don't have to work that hard because it's a one it's a one-on-two battle here. They know they have the advantage. And Alexander, like I said before, he's had a lot more confidence since D.N. Allen came into the picture. Alexander Washington is, is not a second generation star like D.N. Allen. He, ha he hasn't been born and bred into the business like D.N. Allen has been. But with D.N. Allen in his corner, I'm sure that DN has been teaching Alexander more moves, has been giving him more confidence knowing that he's got an experienced wrestler in his back pocket. And look at that, what a huge suplex. DN Allen, this is his first time wrestling in the DCA, but look at, look at, look at that, German suplex. Tyler, uh-oh, and a belly to back suplex. And then another shot, but uh-oh, look at that. Dean Allen taking advantage of the distraction and now clubbing flow to the back. And now look at this, hook in the arms, Tiger Bomb into the cover. One, two, and Calvin, no, not Calvin, excuse me. Tyler gets his shoulder up. Action so exciting here. One, two, and Tyler gets the shoulder up. The action so exciting. Can hardly speak right now, getting names confused. But in any case, here's the tag to Alexander Washington and an assisted cross body. What a move by Dean Allen and Alexander Washington. And now, we've seen these before, these repeated elbows right to the face. Alexander, and look at this, tripping up Tyler, sending him face first in the mat, one, two, and no. Notice Alexander using his forearm to ground Tyler, making sure he gets down for that pin, but now Alexander again, a knee to the back of the head, cover one, two, and no, barely, just barely getting the shoulder up. But Alexander still in control, and uh-oh, look at this. Russian leg sweep into the cover. One, two, and a kick out by Tyler. Alexander Washington, I believe, pulled that off better than Jordan does, but in any case, back suplex by Tyler. Tyler's got to get in control here. He has not had any, really, any real offense since this match started, but now he's getting back in it. Now, uh-oh, there's that suplex. Tyler can pull off the Germans and the suplexes better than anybody in the business. And now, heel kick again. And now, look at this. He wants a piece of both of them here. He wants DN Allen in the ring as well. And look at this. Oh, wait, no. He went back to Alexander, but... Dean Allen providing that distraction, but look at this, German suplex. And now, uh oh, wait, now they're, oh man, what a move. And now, uh oh, and now the referee getting involved, but Tyler not having any of it, taking Dean Allen over the outside. And now, into another suplex. And now Tyler's feeling it, into the cover, one, Two and no. I believe Alexander Washington's been busted wide open by Tyler Parks here. And now a DDT 
wanting to open up that wound even more. And now a moonsault. I apologize for the. I uh, just want to put this out there. I apologize for uh, the, the misdirection in the last match. The steel cage match between Sierra and Tyler. I mean, Sierra and Angel is going to be, I believe, after this match. And now, uh oh, going for another Tiger Bomb. But Tyler saw it coming with a huge Samoan drop. So I apologize for anybody who uh, got that mixed up when they saw this matchup next. I uh, had my notes mixed up here. The steel cage match between Sierra and Angel to determine the number one contender for the Women's Championship at Firestorm was going to be, I believe, after this match. In any case, Tyler now, a huge drop kick. And now... Uh oh, he's going after Alexander. What a suplex. And now going back after DN with a huge German suplex. And now look at this, going back after Alexander. Uh oh, off the ropes. And now sending DN off the ropes. And now German suplex to Alexander. And a spear to DN. Tyler. Holding his own against both men. And over the outside goes Alexander. And now a huge, and Dean Allen just standing in the outside of the ring. And look at this, a huge T-bone suplex on the outside. And wait, oh man, Tyler getting back in the ring. And there's Josh out of nowhere, Josh Smith. From behind. And sending Alexander into the ring stairs. Josh wants some revenge, but oh, a low blow. A low blow by Alexander. And now sending Josh into the turnbuckle, into the... Wait a minute, what the hell? That's Travis Brookside. What the hell is he doing here? Oh, my God. He just speared Josh into the into the barricade what the hell is that all about i don't even what the hell and in the ring josh just got taken out dn with that small package driver hooking him up and the three what the hell what the hell is that all about Alexander Washington and Dean Allen get the win, but I, I don't understand it. I mean, Tyler went back in the ring, and then Josh tried to get some retribution. And then out of nowhere, Travis Brookside from behind with that spear into the barricade, much like he got earlier on Josh, but I don't understand the meaning of it. I don't understand what the heck is going on, but it led to Dean Allen and Alexander Washington getting the win. But in any event, coming up next, this is what I told you about earlier, Sierra Knight. Angel Sanchez, the winner, will become the number one contender for the Women's Championship at Firestorm. And this is not going to be pretty. I can tell you that right now. These two women have been at each other's throat since the very beginning. And it's going to end right here, right now, inside the confines of a 15-foot high steel cage. And the winner is going to be the number one contender for the Women's Championship at Firestorm. And you can see it in Sierra's eyes. She knows what she's got to do here tonight. Sierra is no nonsense. She is the lone wolf. She knows, look at those eyes. The intensity in those eyes.
speaks volumes for what's about to happen here right now. Sierra Knight wants the Women's Championship. And if she wins this match, she will be one step away from winning the, the, the Women's Championship. But she's got to go through. This woman right here, Angel Sanchez, a.k.a. Flojo's girl. Flojo's not here tonight. But if he was, I'm sure he, I know, I'm sure everyone, I'm sure you know, as well as I do, who he would be voting for, rooting for in this match. Angel Sanchez had a women's championship match a few weeks ago on takedown, but it was ruined by Sierra Knight, who took out both Amber and Sierra, which led to this match here tonight. And here we go. Both women. Stalemate here. And here we go. This is going to be a very intense match. No one's going to let up at all on, the, on either one. And here we go. The punches and the kicks are starting. The referee is outside the ring because this is going to be too dangerous for him to stay inside. As if a steel cage wasn't bad enough when you've got two women who just absolutely hate each other and want to do anything to destroy each other. Oh, my God. It's going to be too dangerous for anybody else to be in that ring. And I can tell you already, this I'm promising, I'm sure this is going to be a match of the year candidate right here. These two women are not going to hold anything back. And they're not holding anything back right now. Sierra has not gotten really any offense since this match started. And now a heel kick by Angel. And now into the cover already. And oh man. Not even a one count. That just shows you how tough Sierra is. And you have to be in a steel cage match. You have to put out all the energy you can. And look at that. Sierra sending Angel face first into the cage. And now, uh-oh, going right after the leg. We know what she's setting up for with that. That wolf bite. Ankle lock submission hold. And now, uh-oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Slingshotting Angel right into the cage and again into the cage. Like I said, these two women just hate each other. They have a pure hatred for one another. And they want to do whatever it takes to maim and to brutalize the other woman into the cover off of that steel cage shot one and no pinfall submissions or escaping the cage are the ways to win this match and Sierra is gonna I'm sure employ any strategy she can to win this match whether it be pinfall whether it be submission whether it is escaping over the cage Angel her, if I, I don't think I mentioned this, but her, her high flying is limited in this cage. She can't really go off the ropes like she wants to inside this structure. But uh oh, she got countered, and oh wait a minute, she got caught, and there's a huge power bomb by Sierra, and look at her gloating. Sierra caught Angel with that huge power bomb, and now off the ropes. And oh, what a collision. And oh no, going right back after the leg. Sierra wants to make Angel tap out like she did on the first episode of Takedown. Making her tap out to that wolf bite submission hold that I don't, nobody's been really able to get out of. And now, uh oh, look at this. A huge head scissors. 
And now, wait a minute. Sending her into the cage again. And now, oh, look at this. Look at this move. Unorthodox, I'm sure, but it gets the job done. Sierra with a huge uh, move, an ankle lock, a type of ankle lock on Angel, but Angel gets out of it quickly. And now, Angel back in control, going after the legs of Sierra, and what a heel kick again. Angel, she can use those kicks. And now look at this, going after the legs of Sierra now. And I don't think I mentioned this either. If you go after the legs, if you don't have your legs, you can't escape the cage. You can't climb over the top rope to get out of the cage. And look at this, a Bronco Buster inside a cage. I didn't think Angel could pull that off, but she did it quite well. And now look at this, a Boston Crab. We've seen a lot of those tonight. A lot of Boston Crabs. But, oh no, Sierra gets out of it quickly. And now Sierra going after the legs. Again, not letting up at all in the legs of Angel there. Wearing her down sufficiently. Just repeated kicks. Just the brutal nature of Sierra. We've, we've highlighted it on many occasions that Sierra will do anything to win. She is a very brutal competitor in the women's division. And uh-oh, we've seen this before. There's that huge backbreaker. And that could do it for Angel Sanchez. Into the cover. One, two, and no. Angel gets the shoulders up. But how much more does Angel have left in her tank here? She's been brutalized the entire match. And again into the steel cage. And now, again, Angel into the cage. And now, wait a minute. And again, sending her into the cage. Angel's just not been able to get any offense at all. And now, wait a minute. And again, into the third corner of the cage. I think Angel, I think Sierra wants to take Angel into all four corners. And she does. Sending her into all four corners of that cage. And now again going after the legs. Angel, I, I, this has just been vicious, a vicious assault. And Angel holding her left leg. And now, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, no, she's going for it. Here we go. The wolf bite ankle lock. She's got it locked in. And now, oh, actually, she let the hold go. And wait a minute. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. Mocking Angel. And now, wait a minute. Oh, no. She's going to lock it in again. The wolf bite again. She's got it locked this time. Angel just being worn down. And now Sierra letting the hold go again. She wants to she wants to inflict more punishment on that leg. She wants to inflict more pain on the angel. And now oh no. Oh no! Another backbreaker. This match is and now dragging her to the center of the ring. This match is pretty much over. But now it's Angel is going to, I believe she's probably going to end it right here. Another wolf bite. That ankle's got to be broken already. She's been in the wolf bite three times already tonight. And again, letting the hole go. She is not, she, she wants to, she may want to end Angel's career right here tonight. And now a miniature version of the, of the wolf bite there. I think she wants to end Angel's career. I wouldn't be surprised if that if that was the case. Angel, I, I don't know how much more she's got left. She's just been assaulted this entire match. Her leg is pretty much useless. Sierra just not letting up in the slightest. And look at her just running back. And another shot to the leg. 
Angel just, I can see the grimace on her face. She is just, she is out of it. She, she is out of it here. I have never seen, I have never seen Angel in this much pain before. I'm just, I am shocked here. Angel just being dragged around like a rag doll. And now again, another wolf fight. That's the fourth one of this match. This is over. I'm, this has got to be it. But wait, Angel. Angel gets out of it. How does she have the strength? How does she have the strength to keep going here? Angel using the right leg to kick it at Sierra. I think that's all she can really do. But wait, oh, look at, look at this. A hurricane runner. Angel showing she's still got some fight left in her here. And now kicking at the legs. And what a shot to the face. Angel's got to do something here. Tilt to well DDT. And now Angel with a cross body. Angel's got to do, oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Sierra. Kipping up and now, and what a splash in the corner. And now, Snake Eyes coming off the ropes. Boot to the face. And now, a leg drop. Angel, that's got to do it. One. No, what? She got out at one. Sierra is furious here. And Angel. Angel, what a forearm. And now, kicking in the side headlock. And now, blown over neck breaker. Angel now, a headbutt. Angel, trying to get back in a neck breaker. Out of nowhere, the neck breaker. Can Angel do it here? One, two, no. These two women are giving it all they've got for a shot at the women's championship. And oh no, Sierra looking to end it, but no, Angel gets out of it. And now, oh no, a kick. And Angel, can she put Sierra away? This could do it. Here we go. If she hits this, it's over. Neckbreaker connects. Angel Sanchez could be on her way to victory. The crowd chanting one more time. Sierra not letting up here. And now, oh, drop kick and another Bronco Buster. Angel not letting up. Excuse me, I made a mistake there. And now, Sierra again. B. Oh no, she's going for the net breaker again. She's going for the net breaker again and she hits it. This match is over, Angel. Angel in control. Angel wanting to put the icing on the cake here. Tijuana twist connects. And now, Angel, she's going to hit one more. She's going to hit one more. And there's the third net breaker. Sierra is done. And now, Angel looking to escape the cage here. Here we go. She's climbing. But how much strength does she have in those legs? How much strength does she have left? Angel climbing with Sierra right back up. And oh no. This can't be good. Oh no. Angel falling about 10 feet to the floor, to the, the mat below. And Angel no. Angel not letting up. Drop kick to the face. Angel wants to be women's champion, and she wants to defeat Sierra Knight here tonight in this cage. 
And now, a drop kick to the side of the head. And now, Sierra is in trouble. And uh-oh, Angel, sunset flip. And now Sierra again in trouble. Angel again trying to climb the ropes. Wait a minute. What the? What the? What the hell? What the hell was that? Both women are down. What? It's, it's like, it's like the first takedown all over again. What the hell? Sierra. Sierra now sending Angel off the ropes. And what the hell was, oh my God. What the hell was that? Sierra hitting some kind of move. Angel was on the verge of winning this match. I, I don't know what to say here. And another one, another corkscrew elbow. Corkscrew spinning elbow. And now Sierra sending Angel to the top rope here. Superplex. And Angel calling for the door. No, Sierra calling for the door to be open. Excuse me. Sierra now crawling. Angel, I don't think she has anything left. What the hell? Sierra now crawling. Crawling to the ropes. Crawling to the door. Sierra using all the strength she has left. But I don't think she has enough. Sierra almost there. Angel's got to catch her. Angel's got to catch her. But no. Sierra Knight is the number one contender. I cannot believe this right here. I cannot believe this. Angel Sanchez just got screwed. And Sierra Knight is going to face Amber Stevens at Freefall. Not Freefall, at Firestorm for the Women's Championship. But what the hell was that all about? Sierra Knight was on the verge of losing and then all of a sudden that happens that static out of nowhere and Sierra took advantage and now she's the number one contender. And Angel is hurt here. Angel is hurt bad. I, I, she's not moving. She's barely moving in the ring. She got hurt real bad in this match. And what the? the Flojo! Flojo! What the? And she's helping Angel out of the ring. She, he's supposed to be over here with me. He's been supposed to have been over here for weeks now. She, he's carrying Angel out of the ring to the back. I don't understand that. There's been a lot of weird stuff going on tonight. But we can't focus on it. We got to keep this show moving. As, as strange as that was, it's nothing compared to the brutality we're about to see right here. Casey and Anthony Lewis, a two out of three flaming tables match. I, I, I cannot, words cannot describe the brutal brutality the vicious that you're about to see from these two behemoths. Anthony Lewis has been waiting. He's been waiting. We get another shot at Casey after Casey said that Anthony's win over him at that proven ground was a fluke. Anthony said you want to prove it? You want to prove that that was a proof? You want to prove that you're tougher? Then let's do it again one more time, except this time, let's, let's do it in a match. Let's do it using a, using a weapon that you've been using on so many people for weeks. You've had this strange fetish over a flaming table, but not just any flaming table match. This is a two out of three flaming tables match. You've got to fit your opponent not just through one flaming table to win, but two flaming tables to win this match. Somebody's going to be put on fire twice. That just sounds like suicide to me. 
It sounds like pure suicide to me. But they want to go through it. To prove who's the better man. And here comes the monster. The monster known as Casey. Casey. I, I mean, pound for pound, you. some people may say that this man is the strongest man in the entire DCA. They say that this man is the most brutal, the most merciless, the most vicious, the most intense, the most vile monster that the DCA has, and I would be hard pressed to disagree. I would not disagree with those statements because Casey has shown that he can be heartless, he can be merciless, he can be brutal, he can be just the most gruesome competitor you could ever get in the ring with. But if there's one man that can match Casey's power, that can match Casey's brutal, vicious nature, it's Anthony Lewis. And I shudder to think what these two men are going to do to each other in this match. And that's why we don't have a referee. We don't need one. Because these two probably would take out the referee in the first few seconds before taking out each other like they're doing right now with the punches. I, I'm telling you what, that right now, if you thought their match last month was something, just wait till right now. Casey has shown that he can just, like I said, he can be brutal. He can be vicious. He took out Vega through a flaming table. He put Takaru through a flaming table. But he's got to do it twice to Anthony to win this match. Once isn't enough. And it, I mean, I'm sure you would think that once is enough, but apparently to these two men, they got to prove it by putting their opponent through a flaming table twice. It just sounds like death. It really does. I mean, where else have you seen? Where else have you heard of a of a match where you have to put your opponent through two flaming tables, two flaming tables to win? And now Casey, look at this—a Cobra clutch backbreaker. Oh my God! Just slinging him around like it's nothing. And into the ring steps, knees first. And oh no, oh no, belly to belly, almost landing on those ring steps. Just sh Casey just showing his overwhelming power. But Anthony, oh my God, turning Casey inside out with a clothesline and a spear. But Casey getting up like it's nothing. Casey getting up like it's absolutely nothing. That is just the freakish power and the freakish strength of Casey. These two men started out in the DCA Championship Tournament. They didn't even care about the tournament. They just wanted to destroy each other. And it has blown into a full-fledged rivalry between these two. I mean, car windows spearing people off of the rampway. Flaming tables, street fights, there. I mean, backstage brawls, parking lot assaults. There's nothing that these two men have not wanted to do to put the other man down permanently, to prove that they deserve to be in the top spot. Casey has made it known on several occasions that Anthony is is just in his way. He doesn't just want to beat Anthony. He wants to destroy Anthony. But Anthony's not going to let that happen. A huge Lutez press on the outside. And now look at Anthony. Uh-oh, no. Casey now coming back. And Casey. Oh, look at that. Wow. And now Casey. Casey, what's he doing? Oh, no. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my God. Through the table. But again, that does not count in this match. Oh my God! 
putting your opponent through a regular table does not count. You can do that all you want, but all that matters in this match, all that counts is putting your opponent through a regular, oh no, and again! All that matters is putting your opponent through a flaming table. A flaming table, that's what we're looking for. Two flaming tables, excuse me. Not just one, but two flaming tables to win. But just knowing that you can put your opponent through a regular table and a flaming table, that just makes this match all the more brutal. Because now there's two manners of tables to be involved. A regular table and a flaming table. Oh no. And another, oh my god! Right on the edge of that table, but that table did not break. And a spine buster for his trouble. Anthony, and now what's he doing here? He's trying to set up something. Trying to put that table on the barricade, but to no avail. So he just hits him in the gut with the table instead. And oh wait, he's setting up on the ring apron now. What in the world is Ant has Anthony got for Casey right now? And now, wait a minute. Oh, wait. Oh, my God! Back suplex and the back of Casey. The back of Casey's head. Hit that. That table. And now. Oh, he's got a steel chair now. Those are legal as well, and he just cracked Casey's head with that chair. And now Casey, again, and a clothesline. And now sending him now into the ring. Thought he was going to send him in the ring stairs, and now a boot to the face. And now Casey, and now Casey sending him back into the, right into the ring stairs as well. But sending him over the outside as too, and now uh oh, we've seen this before. Casey, that overwhelming power, lifting up three hundred over three hundred pounds over his head for the suplex onto the right onto the table, and then a shot to the face, and now and then Anthony landing right onto the steel steps as well. And now, look at this, Casey setting up a table, and now, oh my goodness, belly to belly. And now Casey still in control, and uh-oh, wait a minute, and oh, just slamming him. And now Casey running over, trying to get another table set up here. And now Anthony unaware of what's going on and another shot with a table and now Casey stacking those stacking those tables up I oh, know but he shoved them out away in a clothesline I think he saw out of the corner of his eye he saw Anthony getting up and uh oh wait a minute what's he got cooking here oh no Oh no! Oh my god! The back of Anthony's head landing on those steel steps and now throwing the steps on him. Those heavy steps. And now and now what's Casey got set up? What's Casey got set up now? Uh oh. Oh no, a gut wrench. Look at the strength just lifting him straight up into the steps. And now what? Oh no. Oh no. A power bomb on the stairs. Oh no, don't tell me he's gonna do it again. Don't tell me he's gonna do it again. I told you Casey is just ruthless. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh my god! right back up and a clothesline 
And uh oh, Casey got the stairs. Casey got the stairs. Now setting those ring stairs down. Anthony is in trouble. He's got to do something to get out of this here. And now back inside the ring. I told you this match was going to be brutal, and I meant it. And now, wait a minute. Oh! The force of that, that, that just took those tables down. And now Casey wanted to set those tables right back up now. But Anthony, back up on his feet, but then getting knocked right back down. And another shot with a table. Wait a minute. What in the world is Casey trying to do? He's got those double tables stacked up again. And now sending Anthony right back in the ring. And now Anthony whipped off into the corner. And no, wait, no. Anthony, oh my God. With the, all that force. And now, uh-oh. Casey's just been dominant in this match. Anthony has not had any response for a long period of time. Another suplex. And now what has Casey got cooking now? Uh-oh. Wait. He's setting those he's setting those tables down now. Now he's got a steel chair. What's he got? Oh no. Oh no. And now a DDT on the chair. And now what? And now, Anthony back up, staggering. But, uh-oh, wait a minute. Anthony, Anthony back to the, right to the leg. Anthony Lewis in control. And a shot with a table. This is the most offense Anthony's had in a pretty good while. But he's got to keep it up here. And wait a minute, what's he got cooking? Oh, he missed something there, but right back on the assault. Casey was dazed. And allowed Anthony to keep that momentum even after missing that move. Anthony now still in control. Casey now staggering. A little dazed, a little confused. Doesn't know where he is. And now, oh my God. Another shot to the gut with that table. And now Anthony's setting up something here. clothesline Anthony is setting up something I don't know what and now Casey trying to get back in control but Anthony too much momentum on his side so far and now on a spear and now he's setting up that table again and now wait a minute uh oh Wait a minute. And now that backbreaker. And wait, Anthony going up to the top. Headbutt from the top rope. And what is Anthony got cooking now? Anthony. And now another jackhammer type maneuver. And now he's setting up Casey on those double tables. He's stacking those stairs up again. What the heck is he going for? Oh no, wait a minute. Oh no, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Anthony looking to fly. Anthony! Off the top rope! Through the tables! Oh my god! Anthony just may have put the final nail in the coffin of Casey. Anthony kicking those stairs out of the way, out of his way, and now putting another table in the ring. This could very well be academic. Now Casey busted open as well. And now, Spine Buster. I, I, I don't understand, I can't believe the brutality of this match, but we knew, you knew coming in it was gonna be this vicious, this brutal. And now Anthony, oh no, and another jackhammer type maneuver. 
on the case. He's just putting him down more. And now, wait a minute. Here we go. The table is lit. But Casey's back up. That may have given him the opportunity. But wait, no. Anthony. Uh-oh. Anthony now dragging a lifeless, a near lifeless Casey over to that flaming table. Is he going to try and put him through it? Oh! That STO and Anthony is in control. Anthony now firmly in the in the driver's seat. And now Anthony. Snake eyes once more off the top. There's that boot and now a leg drop. Anthony in control. Casey on the ropes now. And now wait a minute. Uh-oh. Look at this. Casey in trouble. Anthony. Oh, there's the STO. And the first part of this match is over. Casey just got put through the flaming table. Anthony wins the first fall, but it's not over just yet. This match is far from over. He's got to put Casey through another table, another flaming table to win. And from what it looks like right now, this match is pretty much all over. All that, all that, wait a minute, Casey trying to find some momentum in a clothesline. And Anthony, oh no, look at this, oh my God. Casey now trying to come back. And now Casey trying to come back. Power slam. This match has just been just vicious and nasty. Casey now with the right hand. Casey not letting up at all. Oh, Anthony just repeated closed fist right hand. He is no nonsense, let me tell you. And, uh oh, wait a minute. Oh no. Here we go. He's got him set. Tombstone Pile Driver. In a normal match, that would put put Anthony away, but this is not a normal match. He's got to put him through two flaming tables simultaneously to win this match. Anthony's only got to do it one more time, but Casey has got to do it two times in a row to win this match. And from the looks of things, Casey has found his second win. And now an elbow to the back of the head. Casey has found his second win, lifting him up. Power slam. And again, mounting Anthony with the straight rights and lefts. Just mounting Anthony without a bit of remorse. And I think Anthony has been busted open by those straight right hands and a clothesline. Anthony trying to get back up trying to fight back, but Casey just shutting him down with a spine buster. And now, Casey, oh no, wait a minute, another fall away slam. Casey now, he knows what he's got to do. He's getting the table, sliding it into the ring. But Anthony trying to come back now. Can Anthony get the momentum back on his side? But Casey might have worn down Anthony a little bit too much with that huge neck breaker. He might have worn down Anthony a little bit too much. And now another stalling suplex. Just Oh my goodness, look at the strength, even after everything that they've been through. Casey still had the strength to lift Anthony straight up for that huge suplex. And Anthony, I don't know if he has anything left anymore. Casey now with the table, and now he's got it set. You know he's going to try and light that table up and then powerbomb Anthony right through it. 
just like he's done to Vega, just like he's done to Takaru in the past. And a shot on the table and another one. And now Casey firmly in control. What's he got cooking now? Casey now. Uh oh, wait a minute. Casey sending Anthony to the top. Oh, wait a minute. Uh oh, he's gonna back suplex up to the table. Oh! Just barely missed that table. I'm sure that Casey wanted to. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Show slam. I'm sure Casey wanted to back suplex Anthony right through that table. Anthony staggering slowly to his feet. And oh, wait a minute. Flaming table is set. And now Anthony realizes what he's got on his plate. He's got to do something here before he gets sent to the table. But Anthony just got shut down again. And oh, wait a minute. And a spear sending him right to the outside. And what in the world is Casey trying to do now? Casey's got two tables right next to each other. I believe he's trying to set those tables up, one right by each other. Anthony recovering on the outside. I don't think Casey even knows it. Anthony going, going back in the ring now, Casey realizes, and here he comes. Anthony now may have had that little bit of momentum, that little bit of time to rest, and Anthony coming back with the rights and the lefts, and a splash. And wait a minute, look at this, oh! And now, oh, and then Casey again. We saw that flurry, that little bit of offense, but that little bit of offense got shut down by Casey, who once again, with that stalling suplex, flipping him up and sending him down. And now, Casey, look at this. Casey, oh, and another gut wrench, another gut wrench suplex. Casey just on fire, but Anthony again coming back with a clothesline. And now Anthony trying to get some momentum back here, but Casey, he doesn't realize. And now, oh, wait, Anthony, maybe he did realize it. Anthony whipping Casey into the corner. And now, a Russian leg sweep. Anthony now trying to do the same thing that Casey tried to do earlier. While Casey's down, but uh-oh, that flaming table just got moved. And Casey now on the offensive. And look at this, another shot. Throwing him up in the air and then slamming him down. And now what? Casey now. Sydney him into the corner and oh wait a minute I think he's going to try what he tried to do earlier uh oh club and blow to the back and uh oh oh wait a minute Casey out oh, through the table back suplex through the table and that could be the opening that Casey needs Anthony is out. And now look at this. Casey winding Anthony up. And now look at this. He's going to put the icing on the cake. Tombstone pile driver. And now Casey just. Oh no, not another one. He's got another one lined up. Right in front of the table. And now. A third one? Casey, a third tombstone. And now, Casey just gloating. He knows it's over. Casey now just dragging. Dragging Anthony. And then now the shots again. 
what in the world has he got going? He's gonna, I think he's gonna power bomb him through that table. And now, what in the world has he got set up? Oh, what a punch to the outside! And now, Anthony getting thrown back in the ring, the table got de got uh, taken down there, and the flames got put out. But Anthony, Casey intent on doing it again, relighting that table, and a clothesline for Anthony's trouble. Anthony is just lifeless. Anthony is lifeless in the ring here. And oh no, he's going for another suplex. This is just this is just hard to watch now. This is just hard to watch. Just having Casey just brutalize on somebody like this. And Casey just gloating once more. Anthony, like I said, is just lifeless in the ring. He can barely stand up on his own power. And Casey now mounting him with the rights and the lefts again. Casey. Oh my God. I, I can't tell you how brutal this is to watch. Casey just repeatedly manhandling Anthony here. But this is what he said he was going to do. He said he was going to manhandle. He said he was going to destroy Anthony. He was going to make sure, he said he was going to make sure that Anthony could not walk out of the arena. And now, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. What's he got set up? I don't think Anthony realizes it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Another fall away slam. And now, oh, wait a minute. What is Anthony? Oh, oh, here we go. Anthony, he's going to do it. Here we go. Power bomb through the flaming table. And now it's down to one and one. Whoever puts their opponent through a flaming table next will win this match. This has just been vicious and it's still not over. I wish it could be over, but it's not. And now Anthony, again trying to get up, but Casey just fit, trying to finish what he just keeps starting. And now look at this, Anthony, and now what in the world is Casey doing now? He's got that table set up. And oh no, another choke slam. There's a, there's another choke slam. Anthony's, Anthony's just, just done. He is done. Another clothesline as soon as Anthony gets up, Casey just knocks him right back down. Anthony, Anthony's just both of these men are gonna have to be put through the hospital, through the burn uh, treatment center at the hospital or something when this match is over. Look at Anthony, he can barely stand up. He's right in front of me, bleeding like a stuck pig. He can't, he can't even move. And oh my, oh my God. When is enough going to be enough? I mean, seriously. This match should have been over. I mean, Casey could have ended this match anytime he wanted. All through that brutal beat, beat down before he put him through the flaming table. He could have had this match won. He could have put him through the second table by now. But instead, he just wants to punish he wants to destroy Anthony Lewis until there's nothing left. And another, and a steel chair shot. You can hear that all through the building. And now right into the apron, Anthony just being destroyed. Anthony is just getting destroyed here. And back inside the ring, elbow, and then a shot to the face with a boot. Anthony, look at him, he's just motionless. I, I, I don't know what to say. I am, I am absolutely speechless that Casey has been dominating this match. And oh no, oh no, Fisherman suplex through the table. 
What more can Casey do this man? What more is left? Oh no, what in the world has he got now? Oh no. Casey, and now just a front suplex through the table. I, 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 can't, I can't describe what we're seeing here. I cannot describe what, we're, what, what I'm witnessing, what you are witnessing. What this crowd is witnessing, they are in, they are absolutely in shock. They they cannot believe what they are seeing. Anthony just and what a boo! And now Anthony, oh no, is he going to get suplexed to the table? Is he going to get suplexed to the table? Oh no, just missed that table. But the damage was done. Anthony just still lifeless, still motionless. And now Casey on the top rope, elbow to the ch chest. And now Casey, please just end it, Casey. Just please end it. I'm begging you to end this match. Oh, no. Oh, no. Shot slam through the table. Please just put him through the flaming table and end it already. I mean, I don't condone the actions, but just put him through the table already. Just end it. Just end this match already. This match is already over. And another clothesline. I, 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 I cannot. Well, oh no! Look at this insult to injury. Anthony adjustment. I, I don't know what to say. And now he's going for another tombstone. Another tombstone pile driver. I, I'm speechless, ladies and gentlemen. I, I'm speechless. There's no more. There are no more words that I can say. And now. Casey's setting that table up, putting that flaming table up, and he's setting it up. Uh, oh no, not another tombstone. And another one. Oh my god. I, I'm sorry, folks, if I, I'm just out of it now, but this this is over. Anthony, his career might be over here tonight. Honestly, his career might very well be over at the hands of Casey. And now Casey, look at Casey just mocking Anthony here, just mocking him. And now, he's continuing to taunt him. And now he's going to put him through the flaming table. He's going to powerbomb him through the table. Casey just saying it's over. And oh wait a minute. The same way. The same way. Anthony won last month is the same way. Casey's gonna end tonight. I cannot believe it. Casey just may have may very well have ended Anthony's career before it even starts. And if he hasn't, I would be very surprised. But Casey said he was going to make sure that Anthony could not walk out of the arena. He could not stand anymore. And, and Casey did just that. As brutal as it looked, Casey has won this two out of three flaming tables match. And I'm serious. We need some help for Anthony here. EMT's immediately getting Anthony out of the ring. Parting him off. They got the stretcher already out. They already expected this. They're wheeling him out of this arena quickly because they know they need to get him to a medical facility immediately. That was one of the br most brutal matches I have ever seen in 
in my commentating career. And we're still not done because coming up is the main event. Atlas Jones versus Zack Stone for the DCA Championship. Can Zack fin truly finish what he started at Proving Ground? Can he win the DCA Championship from this man, the soldier, Atlas Jones? We heard from Zack earlier tonight. He said that one way or another, he's going, one way or another, Atlas Jones is going to, to feel the meaning of the word pain. He's gonna know the meaning of the word pain. And he's not, one way or another, no matter what happens, Casey, I mean, uh, Zach promised that he was going to make sure that Atlas Jones could not walk out of this arena under his own power. He said he was gonna break Atlas's leg He's going to make sure he cannot walk under his own power. And that is a strong statement from Zach. It, but it, it remains to be seen if he can actually pull it off. He tried last month and failed. And Atlas is not the man to mess with. I can promise you that. But he's got a tough test right now because he's going to go up against the natural Zack Stone. He's got a chip on his shoulder. He realizes that he needs to win here tonight. He made a promise. He said he may not, he said he's going to win the title. He said he's going to accomplish three things here tonight. He said he's going to win the championship. He said he's going to break Atlas Jones' leg, and he said he's going to make sure one way or another, no matter what happens, that Atlas could not walk out of the arena under his own power. And here he is, with sporting a little bit of a new look, Zach Stone. He is serious here tonight. No nonsense. From the natural, he knows what he's got to do. He knows that he must win. To him, it is a must-win situation for the natural. Look at the intensity in Zach's eyes. He knows what he's got to do. He said he's going to finish what he started at Proving Ground. He said he's going to finish the job, so to speak, and beat Atlas Jones and win the DCA Championship. Question is, can he do it? Can he win this match? He was close last month. But can he pull it all together tonight? That is the question that everybody in this arena wants to know. The crowd is ready. I hope you're ready. Because we're getting set for our main event. The DCA Championship is on the line. Atlas Jones defending against Casey and defending against uh, Zach. We're still thinking about that last match. I mean, Anthony, we'll try and get an update on Anthony as soon as we can, but here we go. Main event time at free fall. These two men trying to size each other up. And here we go, stalemate here in the middle of the ring. These two men know each other so well, they faced off last month, and here we go! Zach now with the upper hand. Zach has got the speed advantage, but Atlas has got the strength. 
Coleman with a headlock. That Atlas coming back with a headlock of his own. Into a side headlock. And now into a waist lock. But now Zach coming back with a front headlock. And now into a, a wrist lock. And now into a front headlock again. But Atlas coming back with a waist lock. Now back to the front headlock. And an elbow to the head. Nice chain wrestling there by those, these two men. And now Atlas showing the strength that he's not been known to ex exploit in his matches. I wouldn't say exploit because that's kind of a bad term for it. But he's been known to get the upper hand with his strength advantage. But Zach knows that Atlas Jones is a very formidable opponent with the strength. Casey, I mean, I still keep saying Casey. I keep thinking about that match. I, 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 I mean, I'm sorry to everyone who, who's saying, man, D-Wall, you keep make, messing up names, but you don't understand how brutal that match was. How, how that will burn in my memory for years to come, that, that Flaming Tables match. So uh, it'll take me a minute to get adjusted in this match. But, and what a knee to the face by Zach. That's something new. The cover one, two, and Atlas got the shoulder up. Zach's starting to pull out some new moves in this match. That's what he got to do against Atlas Jones. And here we go. Going after the leg. Atlas Jones, as you remember, has had a knee, a knee injury, a slight knee injury that Zach has exploited each chance he gets. And, and he uses that to hit that natural disaster, that vicious leg lock, but Atlas Jones knows it's coming. I'm sure he does this time around, and he's not gonna, he's gonna do whatever it takes to make sure that, he, that Zach cannot work on the leg through the whole match. But Zach will be intent on making sure that that leg is useless. And now Zach with a heel kick to the face. But Atlas getting right back up. But Zach right back on the ass assault here. Choking out Atlas on the ropes. And now turning him around into a German suplex. Into the cover now. One, two, and Atlas gets out. Zach now again, a, oh what a knee, right to the head, he kind of hurt himself there in the process, but it was worth it I'm sure to him to get a little more offense on Atlas, and Atlas got speared and sent right in the barricade, and now Zach waiting for Atlas to get up, and a crossbody missed, Atlas Jones now trying to get some offense going now, and uh oh, here we go, the strength, a stalling suplex on the floor. And that is one instant padding over concrete. That is not soft, ladies and gentlemen. That hurts. And Zach now in trouble. Atlas starting to get the momentum back. And oh no, don't tell me he's going for another one. He's going for another stalling suplex on the floor. And now Zach sent into the in the barricade and oh my god just got bulldog right into the count it's up to eight now and now up to ten. Oh, oh yeah i kind of forgot i forgot that this was a 20 count these two men can fight up to a 20 count in this match I mean, a little bit of a new thing we're trying out here in DCA. So there is no controversy. Dwayne Thomas uh, is, is uh, trying out this new project that uh, each match will be a 20 count. We don't know if that's going to stay or not, but it works well in this match. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, for not bringing that up sooner. But I was just so... Uh, just so shocked and and just I, words can't describe how I how I felt about that last match the flaming tables match and 
Meanwhile, back to this match. Zach working on the legs into the cover. One, two, and Atlas powers out. Uh, okay, now I'm going to get back to this match. Excuse me for being a little off topic there. Atlas now coming back with a back with a uh, headbutt in the back, and now Atlas sending him off the ropes on the apron, and now powering him right back over. And now, again, sending him off the ropes. And now a clothesline. And now into the cover immediately. One, two, and Zap gets the shoulder up. But Atlas coming right back now. And now look at Atlas Jones with the power, with these punches. And now just throwing Zach like a rag doll all the way across the ring. That could do it. One, two, and Zach gets the shoulder up. Zach knows he's got to keep. Zach has got to just keep going. He's got to keep moving. He's got to get some kind of offense rolling or else Atlas is just going to keep in control and he's going to win and retain the DCA championship. But Zach not letting up still. And what is this? And oh, thought he was going for something, but he, oh, what a kick to the head, right to the chest. It took him outside and an insecurity and that may be the turning point in this match. And now back after the leg. Remember, 20 count rules in this match. But there are disqualifications and there are count outs. These men can still get counted out. They can still get disqualified. That is the difference between last month's match and this month's match. Is that this time around, Zach cannot get himself disqualified. He cannot get himself counted out. But these two men have more uh, more time on the outside to wear each other down and now look at this oh on the concrete section of that floor I, I, this is getting very nasty in a hurry Zach now back after the leg he realizes that if he doesn't if Atlas doesn't have those legs he can't maneuver around and that is smart strategy and with the 20 count in play that gives oh man what a net breaker with that 20 count in play, that gives Zach a whole lot more time to weaken Atlas on the outside. And now knees first into the stairs. And Atlas trying to get up, trying to mount some more of a comeback here. But again, and a knee right to the chest. Oh my God. And now Zach and Atlas just getting up again like it's nothing. But Zach again trying to wear atlas jones down he is not letting atlas have any sort of breathing room because if you do that in a match with atlas jones you could be on the losing end quicker than you could be on the on the winning side and now here we go mishinuku driver on the floor that couldn't wear any man down in the ring but when you do it on the floor it's twice as bad and now again sending his knees into the ring stairs trying to wear him down once more and now here we go atlas in trouble zach counts up to 10 again and then another shot knees first into the ring steps and a backhand sending atlas jones down and I, i'm just saying that Atlas has got to do something to get in this match or else Zach is just going to keep on wearing Atlas down and oh my god Zach Stone that violent nature we've seen over the past month coming out again that German suplex into the cover one two and no barely barely getting the shoulder up Atlas Jones just barely got it got out of that pinning predicament after getting that German suplex and the back of his head bounced off the tank off the uh, ring steps and now again working on the legs Zach is not letting up at all on Atlas Jones Zach said he was going to finish what he started last month he said he's going to make sure that Atlas knows the real meaning of pain and he is doing that right now. 
just been continually working on the left leg of Atlas Jones. It's been just worked on this entire match through the entire month. And now the Insigiri into the cover. That's it. One, two, and no. Atlas barely gets out again, but he's holding that left leg already. This match could be just a few moments away from being over. And now again, just working on that left leg. And now again, the elbows continually driven into the head. Oh, wait a minute. Driven into the knee, excuse me. Speaking of the head, that running knee to the face, something kind of new in Zach's arsenal. And uh-oh, Zach, look at this. Standing sea fire. And now, uh-oh. When's that going for? Uh-oh, if he's going for the super kick, it could be over. If he hits it, he's going to set it up. But no, Atlas Jones gets out in the boot to the face with the right leg. If you notice, he hit him with the right leg. And Atlas Jones now trying to get some offense going. Irish slip into the ropes. And now an arm drag. Atlas has got to get the momentum back. But with one good leg, how much more momentum can he really have? And now look at this. Repeated right hands in the corner, just wearing down Zach Stone. And now Zach getting back up. But Atlas just knocking him right back down with the right hands once more, sending him back down. And uh-oh. And what a rolling senton into the cover. One, two, and Zach gets the shoulder up. And another boot with the right leg, Atlas Jones. Uh-oh, Atlas Jones now. Oh, that right leg may not have had it. Oh, my God, whoa. Zach with the uppercut. One, two, no. Oh, my God. And now the drop kick. Atlas Jones almost had the win. I mean, Zach almost had the win, but Atlas powered out. But how much more does Atlas have left? And now a spine buster. And Zach quickly getting out of the ring. But oh no, oh, just sweeping the leg. Sweeping that, that uh, bad leg. And now, again, sending him right over the steel steps. Knees first, if you notice. And now another... Another standing sea fire on the floor this time. And now, back inside the ring, can Zach do what he has to do to put this match away? And uh-oh, another Mishinuku driver. Wait, uh-oh, Zach, he's calling for a super kick. He's starting to tune it up, setting it up. Super kick. That's it. Zach is knocked out. That's it. One, two. No. How did Atlas Jones kick out? But Atlas may not have anything left going for another move. But Atlas gets out with that huge move. That counter now. Uh-oh. Wait, Atlas. Atlas. I was flipping Zach into the corner. And now, again, those body shots, punch to the head, and now throwing him across the ring. Atlas Jones trying to get some momentum going. Uh-oh, what's this? What is this? And oh, what a alley-oop! And now Atlas Jones running to the corner. Uh-oh. Atlas winding it up. Can he hit it? No, Atlas did, still didn't have enough strength in that leg. Atlas Jones still doesn't have enough strength. And Zach now taking advantage into a bulldog. And now Zach want, trying to size up Atlas Jones here for something. I don't know for what, but he's sizing him up for something. But Atlas... Starting trying to fight back here. 
And now these two men just got to be exhausted. And now another shot. And now, uh-oh. He's going for something here. But, oh, no, a counter. Into that uppercut. And now, and knee to the, right to the chest. Into the face. And now, another running knee to the head. Atlas Jones may be on Dream Street here. And now, uh-oh, uh, wait a minute. Blown over DDT. Into the cover, that could do it too. And Atlas Jones, at the last second, gets the shoulder up. But uh-oh, uh, wait a minute. Another Mishimuka driver, this time going into the pin. One, two, and no! Another kick out by Atlas Jones. And Atlas now, again, trying to get come back here, but how much more does he have left? How much more do either of these men have left? But they want to fight for the DCA Championship. That's what it's all about in this match. And uh-oh, wait a minute. Again, going after the leg. But wait, Atlas again coming back. And there it is! The clothesline! The clothesline! The cover! It's over! Atlas Jones has retained the no! Zach Stone again, just like last month. Kicking out of the biggest move Atlas Jones has, that clothesline, and now the Insugiri. Atlas Jones is, oh, wait a minute, here we go. Natural disaster locked in. Can Atlas reach the ropes? He does. But now Zach just, again, just stomping away. Zach is just furious right now again with the kicks and the punches just not even oh my god just brutal brutal shots and a drop kick to the corner Atlas Jones maybe uh, maybe just one uh, just a heartbeat away from losing the title and uh oh wait a minute wait a minute Oh, the elbow from heaven, but Atlas just got clipped. But, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, and another Insigiri. And, oh, and now Zach going for something here. And a shot now. Slamming him face first to the floor now. Another drop kick almost hitting those steps. And now what in the world is Zach going for here Zach what's he going for now and now and a back suplex on the floor and now wait a minute going for another back suplex oh I think he had every intention of hitting those ring steps Zach Stone trying to weaken Atlas Joe oh no Oh, no, this time he got him on the steps. And, oh, no, what are you doing, Zach? He's un he's unfastening the table now. The count is up to 13. Atlas Jones being dragged to the table. And this can only mean bad things. Another kick to the gut. Another kick. Atlas Jones is being physically destroyed. But this is what Zach wanted. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Elbow from heaven on the way through the table. Luckily, I got out of the way at the last possible second. But this, this match has just gotten from bad to worse. And now all Zach's got to do is put Atlas Jones in the ring and pin him. That's it. Atlas Jones is out. He is out on his feet. Here we go. Oh, no. He's going to put the icing on the cake. He's going to end it right now. Well, oh, here we go. There's that DDT. And now he's going to hit it. He's going to end it. He's going to go up top. He's going to hit the 450 splash. Here we go. No. Atlas Jones countered. 
Atlas Jones counter the 450, and there's still life left in the champion. There's still life left in the soldier. Atlas Jones and another clothesline. The third clothesline. Atlas Jones, boot to the face. Can Atlas Jones persevere? Atlas Jones, fall away slam. Atlas Jones getting the crowd into it. Oh, but wait, Zach. Zach now getting back up at Atlas. Attempt to not let At Zach have any more momentum, but Zach now countering. And now Zach Stone still in control. Another huge trot kick to the face. And now Atlas Jones is in trouble again. And here comes the natural off the ropes drop kick. Another drop kick. Atlas swinging, and now oh, he got him. Usually Zach would hit. Oh no, and another spine buster. Usually Zach would hit. Oh no, Zach now got countered. And now he's gonna try again. Usually Zach would hit the that uh that net breaker, and now he's gonna try again. More drop kicks. And this time he caught him on the rebound with the spinning net breaker. And now he's going off the ropes. Here we go. Elbow from heaven. It's over. One, two. No, Atlas Jones. What more is it going to take? Another Mishinuku driver. And now, Zach just at wondering to himself, what do I have to do to put this man away? Maybe this is going to do it. 450 splash. It's over. One, two, no. What more does he have to do? Going for another Mishinuku driver, but Atlas Jones gets out. Atlas Jones now sidewalk slam. Atlas Jones now going for another sidewalk slam. Atlas Jones now trying to build momentum. Backbreaker on the Zach Stone. And now, oh, but Zach again, coming back now. Another mission to the driver. He loves hitting that move, but it surely is effective. And now, going off the ropes, drop kick to the side of the head. And a kick right to the ribs. And now, Zach, another kick to the ribs. This match has been brutal. It's been vicious. But it's all for the DCF Championship! The, 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 the clothesline! The clothesline! And now Zach! Atlas there! Yes, he got it! It is over! It is done! Atlas Jones! Oh no, he went for the pin! But Zach wisely got out of the ring! But Atlas Jones knows it's pretty much over! Atlas was a second away from winning this match! But all he's got to do now, he got him back in the ring by another headbutt. And now Atlas Jones, he's going to end it. Here we go. Power slam. And now Atlas Jones now, he's going to he's gonna look to end Zack's night now. Here we go. Oh, no. Atlas Jones got countered. Atlas Jones got countered by Zach, and now Zach sending him into the corner. And now, out of drop kick. Into the cover, that's it. One, two, Zach, no. Atlas Jones, and now the insecurity immediately. Immediately into the insecurity, and now back into the natural disaster. He's got it wrenched in tight. There's no way Atlas Jones, can he power out of this move? Can he power out? Yes, he does. But his leg, how much more do these two men have left? They've, put in that, they've thrown their best moves at each other. And it's still not enough. Oh, thumb to the eye. 
typical Zack Stone. And now, uh-oh, off the top rope. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Now, here we go. Back suplex off the top rope. It's effective. It could do it. Two. No, Atlas again powers out. Atlas Jones and Zack Stone are just beating each other to a pulp all for the DCA championship. These two men, and now Atlas Jones trying to come back. And now, more punches being thrown, more shots being taken. What more is it gonna take? The crowd is on their feet. They cannot believe this action here. What is it gonna take to put the other away? They're just trading shots back and forth. They've thrown their best moves at each other. What more can they do? Atlas Jones now, and Zach with a right hand, and now Atlas, and oh no! The referee about taken out, but Zach, oh the super kick! The super kick, and wait a minute. Wait a minute, Zach going to the outside. Oh, he's got a steel chair. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Zach Stone with a steel chair to the back. What a vicious shot to the back. And now Zach, come on now, you can't win this title this way. You can't win the title this way. One, two, no, not this way. Damn it. Zach Stone's the DCA champion. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. Zack Stone has just cheated his way to the DCA Championship. Wait a minute. Dwayne. Dwayne Thomas, the general manager. There you go, Dwayne. There you go. Justice. Justice. Dwayne restarting the match, and that is justice on my part, and I'm sure everybody here and everybody watching agrees with me that that is justice, and look at Zach, just frustrated, he had, he knew, he said, he, he was saying, he look at him, he's yelling, I'm the champion, but Zach now, this match is not going to end like that, but Zach, it could very well just still be over. Zach Stone is pretty much the champion still because all he has to do is hit one more super kick or one more DDT and it's over. And now he's going to set it up. Wait, Atlas Jones. Atlas countered. Atlas countered. Atlas countered. The spine buster. Atlas Jones backing up. Can he do it? Can he win it? Atlas Jones, does he have anything left for one more close line? Yes. Atlas Jones nearly taking Zach's head off. And now, Atlas Jones calling for it one more time. Can he do it? He's got it. He's got it. Atmosphere. It's over. One, two, three. Atlas Jones is still the champion. Zach Stone thought he could cheat his way to the DCA championship. But in the end, Atlas Jones, that little momentary moment where D Zach was distracted by Dwayne restarting the match, allowed Atlas Jones to retain the DCA championship. It allowed Atlas to get that little bit of energy left to conserve that little bit of strength he had left to hit the clothesline, to hit the Atlas Sphere. And Atlas Jones is walking out of here, still DCA champion, and what a match. And it looks like Atlas Jones has something he wants to tell everybody. And I'm sure it's gonna be some very great work. Wait a minute, wait a minute, what the hell is this? Alexander Washington, Dan Allen, and Travis Brookside Attacking the champion, what the hell is this all about? Stomping away at the champion. What, what the hell? And now Alexander commanding orders, and now Dean Allen, what the hell? 
these two, these three men have been causing trouble. All, oh no! Oh no! Oh my God! Concerto to the champion, and now what? They're rolling Atlas out of the ring to, A to Alexander. Oh no! Wait a minute! Oh no! Oh no! Don't do this! Don't do this! Oh no! Don't do this! No! Oh my god. What attack all about? What did that prove? What did that prove? Where's your damn point? You gotta go. We'll see you later. What?